before we take on Jonathan Jones, let's get a few things. First of which, you will have to fight for. You gotta go through this guy. He. Now, I said in my test video that you got the safety ring from him, but you don't. I was mistaken. You get the safety badge from him. And he is difficult to defeat. Yeah, Gino goes down. I don't believe I revive him. But anyway, just use super jump on him, and he will go down really, really quickly. He is all treasure chest light monsters are weak against jump attacks. See? It's easy. Now, the only other thing you have to worry about are the little Goomba lights, or whatever the hell they're called, that it throws out. They are small, but they are fast, and they can do a lot of damage. And, just to make matters worse, there's four of them. I opted to do that to try to lower their attack, which was 75% successful. Yes. And then I will begin to the safety ring, don't worry, I put in the notations in my, in my first test video that I will cover it. But yes, in particular, there's only one boss fight in this one too, but seeing as how I'm showing how to get two great items, it should really make up for the fact there's only one. Not to mention you can see me have a hard time with the heat on. I don't even do revive I just revived him at the end to make sure he'd stay alive. So got the one that wasn't in fear, although I think the fear status wore off for the other one. Alright. Now, this would be a handy technique you were going to want to have before you face Jonathan Jones. I do believe I use it, in fact. And you will see what it is. I can't believe I missed. Rarely does that happen in the game that you actually miss. It's one of the perks of this game. It's, it's like, is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? There's a 95% chance that it will, so... Rarely does it... Oh, here's the Gino World. I promised I'd show it. Time it properly, and that's what happens. And the timing is... As soon as it goes off screen, hit Y. Or, just before it goes off screen, hit Y. Either one. You got a safety badge, alright. That protects against mutant sleep, I think. And this is the ring you really want. That That's where it is. It's on your way to Jonathan Jones. I was right about that, at least. Yeah, I leveled up a little bit. And I opted to remove the... Experience booster off of Mario gave him the safety ring. Help give him some protection against Johnny, because one-on-one, -on -one, he can be quite a threat. But, I'm level 13, thanks to the experience booster, and I should be very, very well leveled to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. This is a feature you do not have to utilize. You can take him out with your entire party if you want. You just gotta leave at least one of these pirate buddies alive. But, who would want to utilize a cool feature like fighting one-on-one? -on -one? I, th I think that's cool. Alright. I think I try a super... Yeah, super jump. I think I fail. No? Yeah, that works pretty good. Yeah, here, here it is. Bowser's Poison Gas. Yes, it actually works on him. Yeah. Might have actually worked. I've never tried it. 
Gino just seems to have the lowest defense out of the entire group, magically and physically. I just don't know why. Gino was just very handy later on in the game. Not only do the Gino whirl, but do the Gino flash. And I forget what his other technique is, but we will be getting to that in later videos. As you can see, poison is very effective. It just speeds things along slightly. However, he will not be poisoned once it's one-on-one -on -one with Mario, or when he uses a technique to get tough. Which, basically, is Valor Up and Vigor Up all in one. Alright. As I said, you do not have to utilize this feature, but I did. It's cool, I mean, why not? One-on-one -on -one with a pirate, that's a that's a boyhood dream. You see Bowser and Gino fighting the two blue bandana guys over there. Yeah, I failed at that, but still did a good amount of damage. And Johnny does not move every turn. I believe it is every other turn that... He does not move. I guess he's old. Who knows? Hang on, let me switch my MSN Messenger status to busy, because if you didn't hear, my friend Giltron was bothering me. Yeah, check his videos out. Uh, I'll start giving the uh, links into my description box, because I am just so lazy. I don't want to put them at the end of my videos anymore. And Vitor does have a channel I mentioned two or three videos ago, he, that I think he did not, he does. As far as videos, he's just a huge anime buff. Anime fanboy, to be more precise. And that's the end of Jonathan Jones. Check his channel out, check LB's channel out, check Gishon's channel out. Rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, and that's it. This is the end of part seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. Void Magnus, out.